What's up guys, my name is Lauren, um, and I'm here today to do a food swap to help celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Hispanic Heritage Month is important to me because I'm of Hispanic descent. My mom is Panamanian, and I think it's very important for people to know their heritage and to celebrate it. It's everything, you know, it, it, it's, it runs in my blood, it's in my veins. I was blessed to be able to visit and just was in awe of, of, of the beauty that I saw there, the personality and culture that you get. And to know that this is something that's part of me is something that's that's very special to me. Hi, Candice. Uh, it's nice to officially meet you. I heard we're going to be doing a, a little food swap here. It's good to meet you, too. I'm, uh, I'm ready. <laughs> I am from Jamaica, as you can see. I grew up with, obviously, my own culture and an appreciation for many other cultures. Appreciation for the food, for their music, for just anything that makes them unique. So the recipe that I'm gonna be giving you is a very important cultural special dish to Panama. It's the beef empanada. It's a very simple dish. I don't know what your cooking level is and I didn't want you to mess this up, so I'm starting off easy. It's just fried dough with meat in it. And I thought we would go with the beef one because that's like kind of the traditional OG. Your empanada. I don't know if it's gonna see my Jamaican beef patty, but uh, we, we're gonna see. The beef patty is also a simple dish, but okay. you gotta make it with love. The ingredients is what makes it. If you don't have the good ingredients, if you don't have that seasoning, it's not it's not gonna be mm. there, you know? That's great. Panama is situated in the Caribbean. I feel like we all are about the spices. That's so funny that you bring up spices, Candace, because I'm actually gonna be dropping the ingredients off at your door. I'll make it a little a little easier on you, just a little easier. That's so sweet. You know what? I'm gonna do the same thing for you. Well, Candice, I look forward to this challenge. I'm excited. Get some empanadas, get some beef patties. Let's do this. I'm about to go to the grocery store, pick up these Jamaican beef patty ingredients for Lauren, drop them off at her house, and then see what she's really working with. Can she make these beef patties? We will see. Woo! Okay, that was uh, much more of an adventure than I thought it was going to be, but uh, I finally got all the ingredients uh, for Candace to make these bomb ass uh, beef empanadas. Got all my groceries right there, so uh, now I'm about to take them to her. So the day has finally come. Uh, I'm here in my kitchen going to attempt the Jamaican beef patty. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous. Here you can see are the ingredients Candace has left me with. These don't seem so unfamiliar to what I'm normally used to working with. So hopefully this process won't be so daunting. But anyway, Let's uh let's do this. Okay, so about to make this dough in the food processor. Figuring out this dough, I'm cutting this butter and knead the mixture till it looks like a breadcrumb consistency. It's dough now. I don't have a rolling pin roll out these balls of dough, but I do have this water bottle, which I read it will work fine. Here we go. Going to roll out these uh, balls of dough. So, got the ground beef, a pound of ground beef. Next, we need two tablespoons of soy sauce. Can get that in there. Juicy beef. Juicy beef is important in this recipe. I got the beef cooked up, a little disker ready to put beef in almost. I'm heating up this oil in this pot. It says I need to put two and a half inches of oil in the pot. That's another difference. Um, so I don't know if it's always baked Jamaican beef pies or if you are able to fry them, just depending on your preference. I am asking Candace to fry, so hopefully that's going well for her. This isn't as easy as I thought it was. Um, I'm clearly not sealing the empanadas right because I'm putting them in the pot 
and they're bursting open. So I have two for Lauren so far, but I got a lot more that I can try with. All of my patties are done. I gotta say, it smells amazing. I guess Candace will be the final judge. I wasn't sure I could do that. I got four decent looking at the house. Gonna go give them to Lauren outside. Let's go. We have four good ones. Okay. Four decent ones. This one warm. We but both tried. We did. I have a lot of respect for Panamanians. I have a lot of respect for Panamanians. Me and Candace have completed our creations. I made the beef patty for her. She made the beef empanada for me. Um, here's a little little visual here that you can see. But Candace, tell me about your experience. How, how was making the beef empanada? I was quite cocky in the beginning. I was like, ah, this is gonna be easy. This is gonna be easy. Like, how hard is it to fry a pastry? I started frying them. And all of a sudden they got really fat and they were floating in the wreath and it was like popping everywhere and I was running from the pot, but I, I enjoyed it. And there are a lot of similarities in making the, the patty for sure. Some of the seasonings were similar and some of the process is similar. Like the end was definitely very different. We had a lot of similar seasonings, but you used them in the dough, whereas I used uh, most of them in the meat. Now is the big taste test. See how you did, Candace. I'll let the world see. Here's a little visual representation. Here we go. It's good. I, I mean, I think for your first time making these, you nailed it. You nailed it. Yes. Let me show the dish off. It's well sealed. I bet you didn't have any explosion problems with yours. Those good. I haven't gotten some meat yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, Candace. I'll take it. Not a bad first try. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think it's it's always important, no matter what your cultural heritage is, to know about it um, and to tell people about it, to express it, to be proud of who you are and where you come from. Definitely got a lot more respect for cooking different culture foods. Always had respect for other cultures, but I just thought that I can make anything. It's fun and it's great to, to know about your heritage and share that history and that information and also learn about the differences because it's what makes us all unique. Yeah.